If you really enjoyed Thor Ragnarok and absolutely despised Thor Love and Thunder, 2023's Dungeons and Dragons might be the movie for you. Let's chat. Chris Pine and Mrs. Family herself, Michelle Rodriguez, are the stars of this flick, based on, of course, the uh, arcade game from the 90s and nothing else. <clears throat> okay, it, it's based on like a popular tabletop game. I've never played it. I've heard good things. It's role play. You, you, you could be a dwarf, you could be an elf, you could be a, a regular person, a, a, a bard. It's set in a fantasy realm with magic, with, of course, dragons, as the game is called. And it's really up to the storyteller to bring you into this world. And the storytellers that wrote this movie, they get it. They understand what works. And I have to say, I took my kids to this. We all had a blast. Really enjoyed this film. I'm gonna break down why this is gonna be spoiler free, but I do encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing here. This is your first time, this is your 10th time. Just hit the subscribe button and like the video at the end if you liked it. Otherwise, that's okay. We can walk away. We can walk away without hitting that like. I brought up Thor Ragnarok earlier because this film really does remind me of that, and that's what the trailers were telling me going in. So I was kind of excited for this flick, but it's easy to go south fast. It's easy to get too cheesy with the jokes. It's easy to undercut the dramatic elements. And sometimes these movies just feel lazy. Like there isn't much of a story. They go wherever they want. And honestly, this was fantastic all around. The script is tight. It moves really quickly. The movie's over two hours long, but it doesn't feel like it. There's a ton of set pieces. There's some great characters, creature design. It's got a good blend of CG work plus puppeteering. The whole movie has an old school feel to it with obviously modern technology in play. But I genuinely was watching this with my kids and just having a great time all around. There wasn't these weird little jabs at men or trying to raise up a woman in spite of a guy. There wasn't some political message underneath. It just was a straight up fun flick. And there was great women in this. My favorite is Michelle Rodriguez, best character in the movie for me, Holga. She's a brooding, tough as nails character who has no problem taking out a, a string of villains that get in her path. Her weapon of choice being an ax that she wields like a badass. <laughs> There's some teenager angst in the flick. One kid's a sorcerer that's not great. He's still very much trying to come into his own. There's a girl that can turn into different animals. She's like Beast Boy. Beast Girl. And then there's our 2009 Captain Kirk himself, Chris Pine, with those beautiful blue eyeballs just staring right back at you with that charming smirk on his face. He's, he's delightful here. He's delightful. As the title suggests, there are both dungeons and dragons in this flick. Beautiful settings, varied settings. We don't stay at one place too long. They might be at a graveyard, talking to bones, trying to figure out a backstory about a dragon and what happened to a helmet. Next thing you know, they're escaping from a prison. Then they're in a maze, getting chased by some bizarre creature. It's all over, but it all works. It leads you there naturally. The story progresses in a very seamless manner. I liked the flashbacks. I liked all the characters. No one drove me nuts. No one was out of place. It, it was just a damn fine movie. It's a damn fun movie. Now, if you go into this expecting some gritty, realistic take on the property, absolutely not. It's a silly, fun affair. It's light, it's lofty, it's, uh, it's just a, a fun family flick. Not too young though for the family. There is some creepier elements. The Red Witches, who are the villains of the film, they can be a little extreme at times. Some of the facial expressions, some of the CG vein stuff going on. I would definitely say under 10 should be avoided. I honestly have no hangups about this flick. There's no immigrant song or anything thrown in because that's the trendy thing to do. So you don't have to worry about this merry little gang fighting some bad guys while Eagles Take It Easy is on in the background. As, as enjoyable as that would be. That's not, that's not a thing. We've been eating pretty good the last couple months at the theaters between Creed 3, John Wick 4, Shazam 2, and now a new property to hit the big screen. It's been a good time. Uh, let me know in the comments if you plan on seeing this or if you already did and what your thoughts are on it. Again, you can feel free to subscribe and like the video. I would appreciate it. Help me out. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so these show up in your feed. Otherwise, they might just get lost in the ether. 
never to be seen. And that would just be, that would be heartbreaking for me. And I just have to say, speaking of Chris Pine, where the hell's Star Trek 4? It's been many years now since Star Trek Beyond. I want a fourth flick. That cast is stellar. Those movies are really solid. And I'm actually going to be reviewing them on the channel just because. Just because I can. Coming up, I've been rewatching it with the family. They're having a great time. I'm having fun. So look forward to that in the future. All right. I'll see you soon.